So in this example, we're going to look for all the points on the graph of f where the tangent line is horizontal. So let's uh, look at Desmos before we actually start looking for the point to see what we're actually looking for. So I have x divided by x squared plus 4, and I went ahead and put this into my tangent line calculator so I can see what that looks like. So this is the graph here in blue of our function f. And g of a here represents, this represents our slope, and this represents the x value. So a represents the x value that the tangent line is going through. So here's my tangent line. We can change the x value and see what the tangent line looks like for each of them. Okay. So we're looking for the places where the tangent line goes horizontal, in other words, where the tangent line goes flat. Um, it's kind of hard to find here with the um, with this graph, but um, here we are, here we are, here's the point. Here's our slope of 0 right there and it occurs at negative 2 and the y value of that point. So what we're doing here is we're looking analytically for where where we have those tangent lines that are horizontal. So here's another point it looks like right there. Not super easy to find um, with this particular graph. It's kind of hard to see, but we can find them. So we want to solve analytically. Let's say we don't have a graphing calculator, um, and it's not really easy to find. How do we find the points on the original graph where the tangent line is horizontal? Well, we know that if the tangent line is horizontal, then we're looking for a slope of the tangent line to be zero. So remember, derivative means the slope of the tangent line, and we want to set that equal to zero. Well, before we do that, then the first thing we have to do is we have to be able to find the derivative. So notice that our original function has a denominator with a variable of x in it and has a numerator with a variable of x. So we have these two little mini functions here and they're being divided, so they're in a fraction. We want to find the derivative, we're going to have to use the quotient rule. So it's going to be the denominator as is times the derivative of the numerator, which is 1, minus, it's important, the numerator as is times the derivative of the denominator. So the derivative of what's in that red box, that would be 2x. All of this over our denominator squared. So here we would actually like to use this. We want to set this equal to 0 and solve for the x value that makes this happen. So I'm going to simplify so that it makes it easier to work with. So I'm going to distribute the 1, so I get x squared plus 4, minus, and I'm just going to multiply x times 2x, so that gives me negative 2x squared. And once again, I'm not going to actually square out the denominator, I'm going to leave it as is. And then I'm going to combine my like terms. So we multiply before the minus sign, we multiply after the minus sign, and then we combine like terms across the minus sign. So that gives me negative x squared, and I combine the x squared terms plus 4 all over that denominator squared. So the first thing we want to do is find our derivative. Once we have the derivative, we want to set that derivative equal to 0. So our first step is to find the derivative. The second step is to take the derivative, whatever it is, and set it equal to 0. So our derivative is negative x squared plus 4 all over x squared plus 4 squared. Now this is actually easier than it looks to solve. Anytime we have a fraction that equals something that doesn't look like a fraction, then I make both of them look like fractions. So I'm going to put 0 over 1. And then we are going to cross multiply. What really makes this nice is 0 times anything else is 0. So that's really nice. Equals, so we bring down our equal sign, and then we do negative x squared plus 4 times 1, which of course is just negative x squared plus 4. So now we actually get something that's really easy to, sol easy to solve here. Um, so step 3, let's call this step 3, um, this process, we're going to solve for x. Okay, so we cross multiplied 
And now we're going to go a little further when you get x by itself. So I'm going to bring this term to the other side. So I'm going to add x squared to both sides of our equation. 0 plus x squared is x squared equals a positive 4. Now I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So I get x equals, and this is important, plus or minus square root of 4, which we know is 2. So we get two points on the graph that have a horizontal tangent line. One of them is at positive 2, and one of them is at x equals negative 2. I would like to find the y values that correspond to these x values. So I'm going to go ahead and remember we're talking about points on the original graph. So I'm going to put negative 2 in place of x in the original function. So I'm going to go back up to the top. So that would be x divided by x squared plus 4. I'm putting in a negative 2 in place of x, so that's negative 2 on top. And then negative 2 squared, so put that negative 2 in the parentheses and square it and then add 4. I get negative 2 divided by 8, which reduces to give me negative 1 fourth. So here's one point on my graph that has a horizontal tangent line. Now let's do the same thing, but let's do it for positive 2. I'm going to put a positive 2 into the original graph to find the point on the original function. And this time I get 2 over positive 8, so positive 2 over positive 8, which gives me a reduction of 1 fourth. So we have two points on the graph that have horizontal tangent lines. And so let's go back to our picture that we had in Desmos. And let's just see that we verified that we found what we wanted. Yes, we did. So if we find negative 2, we click on that point, negative 2 comma negative 1 fourth, or negative 2. 0.25. There's a horizontal tangent line with a slope of 0, like we talked about there. And then also, if we keep going, then at the point 2, comma, um, 0.25, we actually end up with a slope of 0 for that tangent line as well. So we have two points on our graph that have those horizontal tangent lines.